Hi, hello, my name is Louis-Marie Fardé and I'm playing with the Houston Symphony since over five years as a fourth chair. So let's start with actually the very opening. Um, in this etude, you have an intense practicing of the left hand and there's very different modulation. So this is a little complex to memorize the left hand, the position, what kind of chord you are playing. Uh, so we are going to speak about a little um, the harmony. Um, but uh, let's do, um, let's start with the introduction. So as I was saying, the, the, the left hand is a little tricky and also you are practicing the extreme smoothness of the bow and the legato you can accomplish. So what I suggest, for example, in the opening, when I, I, I try to play, I to, to uh, have this effect, this smooth, very smooth effect with the bow, try to not, try to think that you don't want to be too active with the bow and you, you keep a, a, a slow pace pulling down so very relaxed on the ball so and at the same time my trick is I try to think fortissimo with my left hand and so that each note is very da -di 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 -da -ba -di -da -di -da. even like you you measure your articulate yeah, da, 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 da. Uh, when when you lift up a finger, also this kind of giving this giving a a rhythmical precision. So uh, so so uh, instead of uh, standing, it's the tendency could be it's you're not um, you're not uh, feeling every note. You're it's just melting it, but. It, just as practice, you know. So you practice like that, fortissimo. So you you get used to the articulation, and the bow always very soft, always very smooth. Uh, and then as you then. Once you've done a little that feeling of fortissimo, then try to, to think that the left hand is smooth because at the end when you, you perform the etude, you want to feel smooth. So, uh, but keep, try to do that, keeping a very steady pace between the notes. So, uh, so you already practice that. If I, if I do that slowly, the practice like... But you have a li little of that still, but so you try to obtain the same rhythm precision, but by now everything is very smooth. Eh? So since this uh, etude is a uh, pretty complex on a harmonic level, I feel that I owe you to display the different key throughout uh, this except we are doing from major 5. So, so for example, major 4, we are finishing in E major. <laughs> Major five, we arrive in A major. And now we arrive in B flat major. Watch out, the first finger is right next to the thumb. The thumb doesn't move, huh, of course. So this is the second inversion of B. B flat major. And then from major.
page is seven, we are going to change very often. Let me tell you that every every first beat and every third beat, often we are going to have a bridge that is turning around the tonic. So, for example, we arrive in E major. So we have we start with from E, and then we and then it's, then we have we hear the E major chord from the second beat. But every time you're going to have to have this bridge, and I'm going I'm not going to stop on the bridge, uh, but I'm I'm going to stop on the on the e ma uh, the major or the minor chord because this is interesting because you have a harmonic change, but also. This is the this is the beat that you have to practice the most because you have to, you you have some difficult shift within that major chord or minor chord. So so let's start with E major. I start with the bridge and and then E major. So I go back and forth. Okay, you, you heard it, it's a root chord of an E major, the so root chord starts with the tonic, you know. And then, uh, and then D major. And then, uh, watch out, we are going to go from first finger down to half step, but um, uh, with the second finger. So, uh, so I do the the D minor chord. So look at. Uh, so I move the whole hand of uh, one whole step again. And then, so we arrived on that bar C sharp minor. The tonic C sharp. This is the key C sharp minor. So I'm going to go on, and then another bridge. But that bridge is one step now. This time, uh, one whole step between one and two. Uh, sorry, between yeah, between one and two, and between two and three. And then, once we arrive into B minor. the root chord of B minor and then uh, so uh, then we arrive into A major so from first A major tonic So you might practice quite slow that way. All this chord. And I go on now. Now diminish chord. We are going to change every single beat. And then D minor chord. First inversion. A major chord, second inversion. So what? So the finger in uh, from the C sharp, and then I I, I do two one and not one one. So uh, I think it's more precise. So I, another diminished chord, and then A major again, uh, D minor again. Uh, A major. Uh, Diminished and then A major again, D minor. It's always the same thing. So now we are measure twelve.
you have a little extension if your first finger is right behind your C sharp maybe uh, you don't have to feel you have to move your first finger so much when you go across to the E sharp Watch out, you go, you, you, you go from the D sharp to, from the F sharp, sorry, from the F sharp to the D, but once you go down to the D, you prepare your f extension with the third finger while placing with the third Play them together. You're supposed to get a measure six. And then now from here, so we are all in a D major, of course, but so you slide all hand, but you slide with the second finger from uh, from the D to the B. But once, while you're going from the D to the B, like the last time, you, you prepare, you prepare really, the extension is even bigger than the, the previous time. You really have to, to go get it. And, and then uh, the F sharp is in front of the B. And the thumb goes a little further to back, so... So I hope that uh, this harmony display didn't tr trouble you too much, but it might trouble you if you never heard of... Uh, if you never walked uh, this way by knowing which beat, which harmony it is. But I think when the harmony is a little complex, it will help you to memorize the text a little better. So, thank you very much. Goodbye.